Uh, we build uh, large-scale hydrocarbon extraction equipment. Uh, we've been doing it for about eight years now, since 2011. Um, we've got uh, three or four different models, uh, depending on what the customer's needs are. Where is the customer at when they come to you? What, are they look what problems are they looking to solve? Uh, a lot of the times, the customers are at the very beginning. Uh, they're thinking that, hey, we've got to get our extraction equipment, we've got to figure out what we're doing. And it does work because we've got a lot of good information for them. Uh, but one of the biggest things is, is getting your building ready, getting regulations ready. So a lot of people come to us first, we're not, shouldn't necessarily be the first stop. So um, by the time they work all that out, now we've got a, you know, it can be anywhere between three months to a year before they're actually ready for our equipment, depending on what state they're going into and what the regulations look like there. So, um, In your opinion, you know, what is it that sets your technology apart from other solutions on the market? What, our, our equipment since the beginning have been able to use butane and propane. Uh, propane's an awesome solvent. Um, it has the ability to be a little bit more selective, um, but the ability to use both of the gases are very good. Um, uh, one of the biggest things that sets us apart is, uh, is our service. We've seen it all. I've seen the small mom and pops, I've seen the corporations, I've seen all that stuff, and we know how to handle them all. We, we're here for them to make sure that uh, you know, we're working together with them um, as, a, as, a, as a team uh, to make sure that they've got all the, uh, all the things they need. You know, when you work with the mom and pops all the way to the large corporations, you know, what are some of the misconceptions that people have about the technology? Uh, I mean, a lot of people come in, uh, there's a lot of CO2 manufacturers out there that are, you know, that are fear peddling the, the hydrocarbon industry and uh, so they don't quite understand. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things that, uh, that they realize once they come to us is that hydrocarbons do it for half the cost and, uh, and, and are at least three or four times faster. Uh, and so we may have to have a room uh, around the equipment, but, uh, but we can keep it safe um, and we make it up in, in the throughput and the ability to just get the job done. Uh, what do you mean by people that are fear peddling hydrocarbon? Uh, a lot of CO2 manufacturers, one of the things they did in the very beginning was say, hey, you know, butane's a hydrocarbon gas and it's gonna, you know, it's dangerous, it's flammable and so on and so forth. Um, and so because their equipment has higher pressure, they've got, their equipment costs a lot more because they're trying to contain that pressure. Um, and so they had to have some sort of uh, sales stance with us and that's what they did. And so, of course, uh, butane and propane is fl are flammable and, and have the ability to ignite. Uh, but as long as we're in a safe environment, um, it, it's, it's been completely safe. I mean, like I said, we've been in business for eight years. We've never had an incident yet. Um, so, um, so in the industry as a whole has grown and a lot of the, um, the fire department and the building department, all of them has gotten involved and we've, we've been able to make large safe equipment, so. Uh, you mentioned the industry growing. You know, what is your expectations for the industry in the next year and then over the next five years? Um, I don't know, I'm amazed every day that it's come from what it was. I mean, I remember back when there was no, there was no licenses, you, you just kind of did your stuff and had a dispensary and uh, so now it's come a long way. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it could actually go a couple different ways as far as legalization and what that looks like as far as consolidating all the manufacturers. Uh, what brought you to the industry? I did it because I found, uh, I had some friends of mine that were, were kind of being unsafe when they were extracting and uh, I wanted to make sure that you know, they could use a piece of equipment that wasn't going to hurt them. Yeah. And so, because um, there was a lot of houses that people were doing in their house and stuff like that and they weren't paying attention to what was going on and so they, they burnt a couple of houses down and so I just want to make sure that people could be safe. I actually did run some CO2 extractors back in the day and so from looking at some of those parts, I was able to put together a piece of equipment that, uh, that could, uh, people could operate being safe, set the standard for uh, regulation so that we could uh, you know, have, this, uh, have the industry uh, and, and, and be safe. Is there a lot of people out there that kind of don't know what they're doing? It's not as bad as it used to be because there's a lot of people that have, that have come up and, and have done some smaller things and, and, and a lot of these bigger companies have picked them up. Um, so we see a lot, a lot less of that, that, that small mom and pop mentality because extraction's been around for a while. Uh, but there's still a lot of things we teach. I mean, with our equipment, we have uh, training classes as far as installation, as far as you know, how to train your operators. Um, so, but it's, it's definitely gotten a lot better. There's a lot more knowledge uh, out there in the industry.